Hey everybody, it's Kent. Today I'm on a little book buying trip. Um, there's an estate for a guy that used to own a couple bookstores in the Milwaukee area many years ago. Um, and I think he was also kind of a hoarder. So uh, I talked to the auctioneer that's in charge of the estate and he told me there's a million books here, which yikes if there is. You know, I gladly buy a thousand books in a day. Um, but I have no uh, interest in buying like massive, massive quantities. Um, but we'll see. I'll do some digging and I'm not sure what to expect. Um, they did have an auction a couple weeks ago with some of the stuff here. Um, and it sounds like some of it was moldy and musty, in which case I want nothing to do with it. But it looked multiple outbuildings. I got all my bo empty boxes ready to go. It looks like there's a bunch of outbuildings here. Um, don't know exactly what to expect, but hopefully I'll make some more videos uh, later in the day and show you guys what's here and show you what I bought if I get some stuff bought today. And yeah, have a great day. So I'll give you a little tour of the house. A little chaotic. I did see some decent books downstairs. I was a mean guy. I just like tweak your neck here oh, a little yeah. bit. <laughs> Watch you freak oh, out. <laughs> Holy crap! Look how moldy these are. But there are some good medical books over here. I saw it. I was looking at them. A little worried they stink, though. And to make it worth... Is there, did you go upstairs? Yep. Anything up there? Um. So this is um where I'm trying to buy books today. And it is a little disappointing. I mean, there's lots of cool books. But most of them um, are stinky and moldy and... You know, probably, probably will end up in a dumpster, I would assume. Um, did get a few Stephen King. And I mean, this place is absolutely massive. Massive, massive, massive books everywhere, records. Um, and here, I'll show you in here. There's an upstairs that's just piled five feet deep. Um, but most of it's just moldy and yeah zero value in it um but i found a couple boxes worth of stuff i guess nothing too exciting yeah that's what happens when you don't store books properly but i'm gonna get back to picking well, I just got home from the estate sale and I did buy a full load. I bought 20 some boxes of books. Um, so when I got there, there's a huge barn with room after room after room piled with hundreds of boxes of books and records and kids toys and household and junk. Um, and again, most of it had probably been in that barn for, I don't know, decades probably and was moldy beyond saving. Um, and a lot of this stuff I bought today does stink. It stinks horribly, which makes it a lot more difficult to sell. Um, but yeah, it was a fun day digging through boxes of books. Um, I probably overpaid for it considering how much it stinks. Um, but I'm just going to unload it for now. And maybe in a couple days I'll show you guys some of the cool books I bought. Hey everybody, it's been a couple weeks since the book pick. Um, I pulled a few of the more interesting books aside and I figured I would show them to you guys. Uh, first, we have um, 1837 copy of History of the Devil, Ancient and Modern. Uh, this is two volumes in one, so it is complete. Very cool, History of the Devil. Uh, next, we have an 1853 copy of Indian Races of North and South America. Um, and this book has some really cool hand-colored illustrations in it. Show you some of those. Yikes. Oh, 
it's a little graphic. Montezuma. Next, we have a 1846 copy of Graham's magazine. Um, so this book does have some hand-colored fashion illustrations I know lots of people like. Show you a few of them. And then also, this book has a um, article by Edgar Allan Poe. Let's see if I can get that to focus for you. So that's kind of cool. Uh, next, we have a copy of America by Henrik Van Loon, which um, it's a pretty common book, but the binding on it is just awesome. Uh, someone put a lot of effort into that leather binding, so that's cool. Uh, next, we have a copy of Something About Eve. This is a sign limited edition. This is limited edition number 422 of 850 copies. So that's pretty cool. Um, next we have a nice leather book. This is uh, the Northern Peninsula of Michigan. And again, it's in pretty great condition. Memorial record. Published in 1895. We have a copy of Alice's, Adve Alice's Adventures Underground. This is a facsimile of the original manuscript. So the, um, this one was published in 1932, but how cool is that? And then next, I'll show you a collection of newspapers. Um, most of these are about World War II, like this first one here. Um is the death of uh, Martin Luther King Jr. He was killed on April 4th. This is uh, the Milwaukee Sentinel for April 5th. So that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, most of them are World War II related. I'll show you some of the cool headlines. Full power on Japan. Third Army in Austria. Cut off Hitler's lair. Allies slicing up Reich. Uh, most of them are Chicago newspapers. Um, a lot from 1945. Army revolt in Munich. Hitler is dying. British source years. Uh, this is just part of the collection. I have a bunch more. Um, just figured I'd show you guys some of the more interesting headlines. Ah, uh, this one is about FDR's death. Reds flank Nazis by sea. British tanks reopen lifeline to air army. Troops spring trap and uh, Nazis in Holland. Cool map on that one. Negotiate with Nazis in last two pockets. 
Truman denies peace. That one's from April 29th. Must have been right before the end of the war. Uh, and then here's some other books, just to give you an idea of what else was in the books that I bought. There's a nice copy of um, The Firm of Girdlestone by Doyle. There's an early copy of Jane Eyre. A uh, Civil War book. Here's a first edition Roughing It by Mark Twain. Um, and it is pretty rough itself. So yeah, there we go. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And please subscribe if you do enjoy my content.